I have a little postcard and I bought this because um, I just because obviously like I went to an antique fair and I just saw that this was from Burr. But what was unusual was when I flipped it over, um, this was sent to Miss F. Windsor, Beaconsfield House, Birchington and C, Kent in England. And when I was reading it down along, I just read a little bit of it. It said, Dear Fries, received your letter yesterday. Yes, I'm beginning to get settled down again now and I'm getting over the loss of the boys. That chap whose life old Frank saved is doing pretty well now. He has got an awful gash right around his neck. Told his wife he fell across some corrugated iron. Told the CEO he must have been, um, I think, mad at the time. The boys are in France, um, safely at Rouen. I hope old Will does get home. Um, that's all this time. Much love, Dick. And this was sent in 1917. So I actually, when I got the postcard, I didn't, you know, I wasn't sure even of the date. And it's only when I flicked it over and I thought, you know, 1917, um, Dick, you know, we don't know where Dick ended up or if he survived or if he got back to whoever Miss F. Windsor was, whether it was his sister or his wife-to-be or, you know, it, it just seemed really, really poignant. And it was posted in Burr. So I'm just assuming that with the barracks in Burr, that that's where Dick was stationed and he was sending this over just to give an update. And I just thought it was, it's very, very sad when you think of, you know, the backstory of whatever this, this was about this, this chap that they're talking about, um, that Frank saved. Um, I don't know if that was, you know, during a war or if this was back in the barracks or, you know, whatever. So I, I, yeah, I just thought it was really interesting that you go from something that you pick because, you know, it's kind of, I picked because it was pretty on the front and then you discover that there's a life story on the back. Um, that thinking of the time that was in it, that, you know, could have been particularly tragic, you know?